Steward Watch. Let's go to Steward Watch because this is one of those races where it frustrates the hell out of me because there's chicanes in it that are all just like tarmac. If you cut them and you don't lose enough time, not just lose time, but not lose enough time, then you get a long lap penalty. Like I said, it wasn't the longest long lap penalty here. It seemed like they were getting through it pretty quick. It could have been like the second and a half loss. Time loss there, maybe. It was a short long lap. I felt like it was. Anyway, they were really ripping through it. So we saw a penalty for Bastianini, like I mentioned earlier, a long lap penalty for his incident with Alicia Spargo, where there was no contact. I first, at first thought, what a strange decision. And then I saw he did actually cut the chicane. And I'm, I, I would hope his penalty was for cutting the chicane and not for forcing Alicia off the track there with absolutely no... All he did was sit him up and Alicia decided to go straight. Maybe he had to, I don't know. It was a move from a long way back. It probably wasn't on, but the point is there's no touching. So I'm hoping that that penalty was for cutting the chicane. Please make it that. A slightly more contentious one is for me the Digi one. Now Digi goes through the chicane. He goes for a move, goes too deep, goes through the chicane. As he's halfway through the chicane, he sits up, looks around and lets the two riders go past him. So not only is he given back the one place for the place he took, I think he's then dropped in behind, it must have been a Spargo there. And it just looked like he lost heaps of time to both of them and ended up well behind them. Now, this is one of those things where they're like, oh, put the stopwatch out, you know, oh, he's got entered the chicane there, entered out there, and his usual lap time, his time through that sector is this time. And he's not lost enough time. Is there a point where, like, I know they struggle with actual decision-making, these guys. So... Anything that they can make as black and white as possible, like did you touch the green or did you lose X amount of time compared to your average lap time? And they can go, oh, thank God, I don't have to make an actual decision. It's just, it's not a subjective decision. It's just like, it's just like an objective fact. He didn't lose this much time. But in this sort of cases, he's given up two plays. There's no way he's gained an advantage there. It doesn't make sense. It's just the sort of little things that frustrate me. There is no advantage to what he just did. Like, when is it not enough to just give the place back, two places back? Anyway, that frustrated me. It's that kind of thing where because they can't trust their own decision-making, they have to do these sort of things. But yeah, anyway, Steward Watch, that's Steward Watch for a week. But there was loads of long laps and stuff. There was more, and I I can't remember how many, maybe friends had one. I don't know what it was for. They've all cut chicanes or whatever. 